Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. This is Bootstrap 5 full tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to learn all about the fundamentals of layouts and grids in Bootstrap 5. This is the part 3 of the Bootstrap 5 full tutorial series. If you have missed out on the previous episodes, I request you to kindly check them out so that you have continuity in learning. I have planned around 40 uh, hands-on tutorials and live examples for you on Bootstrap 5 so that you can cover end to end in Bootstrap. If you have any doubts during that, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you. All right, so today is the third episode. We'll learn about layouts and grids. So before we jump into learning about layouts and grids, there are some important terminology that you should be aware and you should be knowing the fundamental concepts about, right? So I'm going to start with some few basic concepts and then we'll jump into layouts and grids. So the first concept I want you to know is the responsive design. So more often if you attend an interview, maybe UI developer or, or maybe a full stack role, they might ask you, what, what do you understand and what do you mean by responsive design, right? So responsive web design is the approach that suggests that design and development should respond to users behavior and environment based on screen size, platform and orientation which means when you build an application, it should be able to respond, it should be able to behave accordingly. Let's say for example, for mobile, iPad, laptop, large screens. So these, these have different uh, orientations and different screen sizes. So our application should be able to behave, adapt and respond to that particular change of the environment. That's, that's what is called as responsive design. Now it's also a mix of flexible grids and layouts which includes images and CSS media queries. Talking on the same lines, uh, there is another concept which is called box model, right? So box, what is box model? So box model means in CSS, whenever we talk about box model, it means wrapping the content around essentially in, often every HTML element will wrap it in around a DIV or a container basically, right? So that is what we call it as a box model, right? So think of it this way, let me give you with some, uh, hands-on uh, example. So if you say this is a um, say image, right? So you put a box around it, right? Not rounded corner. Maybe think of it like this, right? So you have some content here. Now this becomes your content, right? Now this is called as the box model because it will have some margin. It will have some padding, right? So if you see this becomes like this, right? And if you send it to back, this becomes your um, Right? So this becomes your box model, right? Now on top inside this, you'll have your content, right? So this is a box model with margin padding. So this is what is mean, what, what is meant by box model. Now the next important thing in bootstrap, now we are talking context of bootstrap, right? So when you talk about layouts in bootstrap, there is an important concept called container, right? So what are containers? Containers are the most basic element in bootstrap. Right? It's the most common or most, most basic layout element in Bootstrap. Now containers are used to pad the content inside of them. Right? So when you wrap around a particular DIV or any element like this. Right? So this is a container basically. Right? Now we can wrap a particular element or we can wrap the entire web page. Right? We can wrap an entire web page like this. And we can say this entire web page is a container. That means all the content will fall inside this, right? So this is my entire website, right? Now this is my entire website and this is the content that is there, right? So that is what it means meant by container. It's used for wrapping the content. Now there are two types of container classes available in Bootstrap. That is the important thing. One is container class, which provides a responsive fixed width container. Now fixed width means it would be 960 for 960 pixel for laptops and smaller size. I'll give you that resolution. The idea is the, the width is always fixed, right? So remember the width is always fixed in, in the class container, right? So it will always be designed as uh, fixed is width for whenever you use the class container, the width is fixed. So if your size is more, your device size is more, still the application will resolve itself into the center, okay, like this. And the remaining will be white space, right? So that is called when you use class container, right? 
So I will give you that code how to write that. So if you see, let me open a new file for you and quickly make some notes. Right. So containers are nothing but bootstrap containers. So what they are, they are extremely important important and basic layout element in bootstrap then there are two types of containers right we will we will do all these practicals so don't worry today's uh, episode is more about understanding rather than coding so we have containers right so when you do something like this container this would be fixed width right this will be a fixed width container. The entire body will be a container and it will be fixed width. Okay. This is fixed width. But I want responsive, which means I want 100% of the width. Like, for example, if my size of the screen is big, I want it 100% occupied. Then we will use something called container fluid. Right. Right? So this is container fluid, which means occupy 100% of the width of the screen size. Now this includes for both mobile, responsive, large screen, small screen, irrespective of the size of the screen, it will always occupy 100% of that width. All right. So remember, that's the difference between container and container fluid that will decide and set the tone of what design you want to implement in your application whether you want it fixed width you want it responsive width or fluid that is container fluid all right that being said let's move to the next one so here i'm giving you some numbers right so i told you fluid container width is always 100 percent right in fixed the dimensions are given here so for extra small 100 percent for small it's 540 medium it's 720 large it is 960 and extra large it is 1140 pixels now remember these are 950 these are standard resolutions right so if it is a 1024 kind of pixels it will be 960 and similarly like that right so you can even define these fixed width now you'll ask me but we use bootstrap for responsive right why are we even using right so let's say why use fixed layouts at all right uh, there are use cases there are use cases where you might want to have a fixed width rather than entire fluid right like for example say login screen right you want to have it's it's usually having just username password and simple fields right so you don't necessarily want to have it 100 percent you might want to also have it fixed width width and adapt to screens resolutions right or in some cases if you know that the content is always fixed uh, there are some use cases like if it's a static website right you want a static website for a real estate company right or a restaurant right right so there are other use cases that you can use or say simple website for a small small and medium scale business right uh, so so you are trying to build a website for a small and medium scale business they want a simple layout look and feel nothing fancy there there if you know that your audiences are only uh, desktop audience right or say screen audience probably you might want to go for a fixed width again this is all business use cases uh, but I'm, all I'm telling you is there will be times when you want to consider a fixed layout, right? Now, some customers will come and tell you, I want mobile responsive design. I want, uh, we want to have a complete uh, design for mobile, iPad, desktop, large screen. Fine. So then you use container fluid, right? With media queries. So that is again, business driven uh, decisions. But then I'm saying you that there can be cases where you might want to consider fixed width. And if you are doing that, then these are the sizes that you should keep in mind. All right. So I said, I told you, I explained fluid container, which is always 100%, no matter which screen device you do, mobile, iPad, it will always occupy 100% width, right? So fluid 
means always occupy 100% width of the device of the device screen right if, be it mobile ipad desktop large screens etc right so fluid design is always about percentages remember this is always uh, the design is always about percentage design which means you will allocate 40% uh, for sidebar right 60% for main content and so on and so forth so it's always in percentages whereas fixed design it is in static pixels right it's in static pixels all right that was about fluid now let's talk about grid system right so i'm not getting into hands on code in this episode for a reason that a lot of you are new a lot of you want some basic fund foundation and fundamentals so i'll cover it here in the next chapter will in the next two episodes we will only code hands on design so let's talk about now bootstrap grid right so bootstrap grid is nothing but grid is a system to design the layout right to design layout templates of the website like the structure right of the website now always remember uh, bootstrap supports bootstrap grid supports or rather i will say grid bootstrap grid will break your allows up to 12 columns right so you can have up to 12 columns right so what do i mean by 12 columns that means if you see this this is a single column right so now let me change the design and show you some more so i have a main container right i can have one more content like this this is two column right now this is two column this is three column layout so see this is three column layout similarly i can have up to 12 columns in the in the in the row right in a row right so grid is nothing but it's it consists of of rows row and columns right grid is nothing but it consists of this if you look here this is one row and there are three columns right that this is one single row highlighted now let me highlight it for you so if you see blue color is the row yellow color is the or this yellow color is the columns right so this is my layout so which means so i have one row and three columns in this design similarly you can have one row and in one row we can have up to max 12 columns using bootstrap right can we have more than 12 yes we can have but it has to be inside it then subgrids not the main grid the main grid in a row will always have up to 12 columns remember this is a question that is often asked in interviews that how many columns are allowed in bootstrap grid how can you design a two column three column four column so you see here i have given some examples this is 12 column grid this is three column which is four 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 this is two column which is four and eight this is six and six this is 12 right so if you see basically you are just dividing the 12 column row into three different pieces right now if i want four column i will make each of this as grid of three width right so three fours are 12 right so if you see now this is three column grid three column grid three column this is three column and this is three column right so this we add all of this and it should come to this top one should come up to 12 right so this should be 12 column grid or whatever you do just make sure that your maths add up to 12 column grid now i want only two i don't want four so then delete through delete two and have only two and i can make it nine and three which is again 12. i can have three and nine this is usually most standard uh, template that we use or we can also have four and we can have eight something like this then right 
so this is yet another frequently used then if you want only let's say you can also have this design where you have the main content here and you have four columns here and eight columns here right so this is again adding up to 12 now similarly i will say no i want six columns so one two three four five and six right so this is now six column grid now each of this will become two column because now we are dividing the 12 column grid into six right now you'll ask me where is the need to have such things so if you have seen jira board or any other agile application you would see they have so many columns to do progress review qa reproduction business analyst uat so that is again a board right so this has 12 columns right so i hope uh, the concept is clear uh, divide the row into 12 columns up, up to max 12 columns or i would say into columns to achieve your layout design right let's talk about some layout designs now now i told you grid features it allows up to up to 12 columns it's divided into rows and columns it supports various resolution screen resolutions like xs sm md xl and so let me tell you so bootstrap supports bootstrap grid supports various screen resol resolutions right so you would come across the words like excess which means extra small device maybe a mobile right extra small small can be again a mobile or ipad right then you have medium which is can be ipad in a different orientation or desktop or a fixed screen desktop you have large and then you have excel which is extra large so these are nothing but whenever you come across these terms in in bootstrap it means they are referring to the screen sizes or screen resolution right so remember whenever you see something like xs xm sm md that means they are referring to the screen sizes so we can design the screens like we can also mention column i told you we can mention like this right column size now similarly we can also mention something like column small six that means occupy six columns in small device right we'll we'll see all of this so don't hurry up on learning so let's go step by step so today you learned about these and so i told you in the next this is what i'm going to cover now which is grid classes right so i told you if you look at this design here we, we are writing so far we were saying column two column two column two right because there are six columns right so we will to mention we, we are just saying occupy two columns on every screen right this means occupy two columns in all devices all screen resolutions but we can also mention and say column two column sm six which means in any other device occupy two columns but when it is small use six columns right we'll learn we'll learn about it in uh, coming episodes with some hands-on examples i don't want to um, rush you through these designs we will implement all of this in the next uh, episode uh, single footer column uh, so let's let's see that uh, step by step i don't want to give you too much information in one episode let's take it easy i'll continue this series by designing those grids for you in the columns in the next episode all right um, Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, give a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next episode where we will start designing the grids for each screen resolution. Thank you so much. See you in the next episode.